It sounds like a cow. <laughs> Shall I introduce this? Yeah, sure. Well, hello and welcome. <laughs> okay. Hello and welcome back to the Shallow Proclamation. <laughs> My name's what? Thomas. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? Swallowed some helium. Um, I'm Thomas. And I'm Paul. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and uh, we're watching The Highlanders. That sounds like it could be a series in its own right, doesn't it? But it's a well. There is Houston. there was a there was a film called Highlander. Yeah, I knew it sounded familiar. Uh, with is it Christopher Lambert? I'm going to say. Hmm. Um, and then there was a TV series around it as well. It had Sean Connery in the original film, but it's nothing to do with that. <laughs> is there an outdoor wear company called Highlander as you well? Might be... Outlander. I don't know. Is it, is it something like that? I don't know. Zoolander. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 ben Stiller. Well, um, this is straight to the Doctor Who content there. Then. This is <laughs> great. This is stodgy waffle, isn't it? Speaking of which, I've actually got a pancake here. I've just yeah. had a donut. What, what have you got in your pancake? Ice uh, cream. I've put some desiccated coconut and ice cream and a bit <laughs> of maple syrup. Ah. Um, so, yeah. Well, there you go. It's a step up from a bag of lettuce. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was Marco Polo, wasn't it? That, yeah, 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 it was a long time ago now. So, so we're we're always in a bit of a funny mood. Well, you probably think it speak for yourself, mate. Um, but <laughs> when we do the recons, because let's be honest, they are a little bit harder to focus on. So we do play them at one point five times speed because that actually helps us concentrate a bit more on what's happening. Mm. Um, and it, at one point five speed, it feels like the pace is kept up a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, I think that's fair. I think I think that's a reasonable thing. I don't think we'll well we will be accused of being philistines, but willing to take the hit on in this case rather than suffer through, like Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, um, so... YouTube giants as we are. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Who is David to our <laughs> Goliath? Um, yeah. So shall we jump into it? Anything we need to know about the story? You got a little little okay, fact. Yeah. So I mean, this is uh, so it's the Highlanders. It's our second Patrick Troughton story. Um, it's broadcast seventeenth of December nineteen sixty six through to the seventh of January nineteen sixty seven. Um, so we're breaking through into a, a new year here. Uh, written by Elwyn Jones and Jerry Davis, although apparently Elwyn Jones didn't actually contribute anything at all. I think he was commissioned to write the script, but for whatever reason, did nothing. But his right. name ended up on it. Jerry Davis wrote the whole thing. Um, this is the only story written by Jerry Davis that does not feature the Cybermen. So I hope that's not too much of a spoiler for you. There will be no Cybermen in this week's uh, episode, I'm afraid. Um, and this is the last of the pure historical stories. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Until 1982. Right. So, and basically, this is the last one based on an actual event. Right. As well. So, yeah, it's the kind of an end of that era because we we got used to those kind of historical ones in the Hartnell era mm. cropping up every now and again. Quite enjoyed them on the whole. Oh, and yeah. it, I should have said it's directed by Hugh David. Should have said that almost. We always mention the director. I just missed that one off because I got to talk about the writers there. So. Who was the gaffer? <laughs> sure, I could find out. <laughs> right. So... Can can we just for, just to humour me, Paul? Can we just watch five seconds of the animated CGI? <laughs> I think we probably should, shouldn't we? Worked incredibly hard to do this, but I'm sorry, it is just quite funny. They've got to see the funny side of it. So far, so good, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, their faces are all the same. Oh, this is brutal, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to call it there? Yeah, let's 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 put that. Uh, oh, I kind of want to. I kind of want to see all of that. <laughs> Why has it got a color title? Well, I mean, this is obviously. This must be like a bootleg video version. 
Yeah. This is actually what the, how the Patrick Trout era is from now on. <laughs> is this, this is what the intro is like. <laughs> this is probably a good example of what it was like as a Doctor Who fan getting bootleg videos in the the nineties. Well, it was all a bit rubbish. The quality, I imagine, was not very good. Mm -mm. Well, apparently DVDs are only 480p or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. That's a weird thought, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. So used to better quality now. I've never seen this, by the way. Have you not? No. Because cause it's not animated and there's, like, no episodes exist. I've, I've literally never watched it. Gosh, this is hard work, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, it's just about... I'm glad I'm not the only one. So, picture quality, abysmal. Sound quality, appalling. Like, it's, it's like it's quite it recorded, hard to... on a, recorded on a potato or something. <laughs> and it's quite hard to follow what's going on anyway, isn't it? Yeah. It seems to be some sort of kerfuffle. Yeah. I can't even tell what I'm looking at there. <laughs> I will not leave him. We are not the strange noises going on. We'll go with. Right. Off you go then. Will you show me where the string is? Here, Captain. Take the spyglass with you. Watch out for these satellite lagoons. <laughs> it sounds like a cow. Anyway, but... <laughs> you both give us your word that you'll not molest us. We're only trying what? to save your lad from bleeding to death. <laughs> what? Right. You have our one. What? You've got to trust me. I'm just worried about this bomb. You got that bit. Good luck editing this, mate. <laughs> two, two people sit in silence and go. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's hard to know what to say, isn't it? It's very hard. Bit of footage. Take the train! Nice. Stand by! We're about to hang them. Please yourself. You're just a stupid peasant. I'm off to help my friend. You can stay here and guard your precious ring. Look, I'm just getting to get a bit uh, roiled up, isn't she? Hmm. Oh, nice extreme close up there. Yeah, that's good. Don't get my own to that. Well, so Thomas, what was your favourite part of that? I think it was. I think it all might have been really good, actually. That may be the best episode of Doctor Who I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> um. What of I'm, I'm slightly at a loss what to say about that. We need to find a bad copy of uh, the next few episodes, I think. Um, I mean, I think I generally was able to follow the basic idea of you know, you've got the height, you know, the Scots and the English, and um, the Jamie, um, not Jamie, what we're talking about. Um, the doctor and Ben seem to have been captured yeah. by the English. Yeah, were they, were they got... about to? Were they in the line that was about to be hung there? Hanged. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, they were going to be hung. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not to get hung up on that, but because uh... Uh, you know, I swung the bat. I didn't swung. Didn't swanged it, did I? Like... <laughs> 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 anyway, no. Sorry. Um, and Polly, Polly was chilling with that lady, and then they got a bit cross. She tried to get the yeah. lady to give her a ring so they could use the use it to get money to bribe guards and buy food and stuff. Yeah, I think freedom. that might be my favourite bit because that's the bit I kind of understood. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I quite like. She asked something about why Polly doesn't have the right clothes or something, and Polly's something like about a short skirt. Yeah, and Polly's like it's a long story, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, in fairness, given that the picture quality was atrocious and the sound quality was not a lot better, um, it, it might as well was, have been right. watching. It was all right. <laughs> We might as well have been watching like white noise on a <laughs> static on a TV. 
<laughs> for half an hour. But, but no, I mean, uh, yeah. Imagine if right. that had been the web planet and we'd been trying to watch that in that quality. Like... Thanks for watching, everyone. I don't know how much, uh, how long this uh, video has ended up being. Is this video uh... just going to be the intro and the outro and that's it? There's not going to actually be any footage of us watching the episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Um... Oh, well. We'll find it. We will try and find a better copy uh, for the next few episodes. But uh, yeah, so bear with us and uh, join us soon for part two of the Highlanders. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.